Hi, I wanted to show you how to use the tool Vassal to play the game Federation and Empire free of charge. I've already installed Vassal here on my desktop, so we just double click the shortcut to launch the game. This is the Vassal main window uh, that lists all of the modules that are installed on in top of the game. You can't just have the game Vassal or the program Vassal installed. You also have to find and download the modules for the games that you want to play. The modules plug in to the Vassal program, and this is the window that runs it. Every time you run Gassel, Vassal, it uh, runs this little update to check and see if the version that you have is out of date or not, and this is the version that you get if that is the case. Right now, I want to keep this at a lower, at a lesser version uh, to show other uh, effects like this. Right now, we'll say no. We can load this uh, and update it in, in a future uh, video. So you can see here, I've got uh, basically one game installed. These other uh, modules are under development, so you can just ignore those right now. This is the game module and all these items that are underneath it when you expand the little key icon are extensions for the module. So in other words, I can play the game Federation Empire by itself or I can include, uh, as I like to do, the Enclave, the Orion Enclave, some of the other ones also. Right now, I'll leave those deactivated when we load the game. Over here on the right, you'll see the server status. Uh, it can, the, the Vassal system has a server that maintains who connects, who's playing, who's looking for a game, things like that. We'll get into those a little bit later, but uh, I can... Uh, Uh, we'll just show some of those later. So you can see there's already 188 games going on at the server that this system would connect to. Let's see if there's any Federation and Empire playing. Scroll down the list. Nobody's playing F me right now. You can also see in the past for the last 24 hours, week, and month, of course. Federation and Empire in the last day. No, but last week, I think I remember seeing that Chuck was on playing. He remembers the time and date of the last play. And here we have one game of Federation and Empire. It was one main room, and the participant's name was Chuck. Let's actually load a game I've saved. I've actually started a game, made a few moves, and saved it. So let's load that saved game. Right click to open a module and uh, it will uh, read the base game elements in and give you this pop-up window electing you to do you want to go in. Right now we just want to load a saved game that we already have saved and look down here at the bottom for the status to change when you click next. Here you can say it's see that it's asking for a save game file. Null is programmer speak meaning that no game has been selected. It remembers the last place that I saved a game at and that was in this location with the extension VSAV. Open this module. After you click open uh, the game is actually doing something here. You can see that it's loading the game. We can't do anything until the game is done except talk about uh, the systems and so forth. The game that loads is actually going to be in a separate window from the module loader, the, the first window that we open back here. Uh, the game will be in its own window. Um, that will enable you to be able to go back into the server status and 
click the refresh button to see when your friend shows up uh, so that you begin, can begin chatting with him. Okay, the game is loaded and we can click finish to actually launch and we'll start executing that game. A couple seconds and the module loads. Let me resize the screen. My screen is bigger than the size of the screen that I'm actually recording. So I wanted to uh, save some space and time. So you can see this is an actual sec separate second window. This is the Vassal Loader. This is the actual game that I selected here, Federation and Empire, that I've loaded from the background, along with the initial buttons, um, which are all, each module that you choose will have different set of buttons that are assigned for that game. Well, here's the game. Where's my map? I thought I was playing the game. Down here at the bottom, you have to click and drag this up in order to see the map. So up here we have the status window. You can see what's going on. People, As people make moves and stuff, uh, leave this part open. You can see that uh, they will move, like for example, down here in the map window. And uh, the Federation uh, or somebody wants to make a move. When the unit moves, you can see the results up here in the bar. So all these different other buttons do different things, of course, specific to this game. Uh, we can talk about those a little bit later, but right now you can see these are all the pieces that I set up from the first time I played the game and saved it, and now they're all back uh, and restored. I don't want to save this game. I just want to close it, so I'll continue it later. It'll give me the option uh, to save the game if it knows the pieces have been moved. I will say no, because these same parts or statuses will show up to the user who plays on the other side if you're doing a play-by-email game. So right now all we have is a status window. There's no map because there's no game started. You don't know you have to choose the game that you want to play or the scenario that you want to play and that will determine what maps get played. We can close the game module and we're back to the vessel status window. If I was looking for a game, my entry might have showed up there. We can go back through that a little bit later. Click close to, to close your game, and that's it. I hope this helped. Thanks.